What's up, fellas? In this video, I'll be going over my settings for Tarkov and explaining why I set them as I have. Getting the correct settings in a game like Tarkov is super important. Having the most visibility while not sacrificing too much FPS is key. And my settings are putting me right in that sweet spot at the moment. So I want to share them with you. Now, it goes without saying that your rig, what type of hardware you have, have a lot to say in what type of settings you can run. But I'm also going to explain why I set the different things to what I did. So maybe you can get some out of it and know which settings you got to try and squeeze in there. In terms of testing your FPS, I always recommend loading in on a scav run. It's pretty easy to just run around, find a find a quiet area and not worry too much about dying since we're on a scav. And we're in a live raid as well, so it gives a realistic result. All right, so we got the FPS counter on, as you can see. We're running a pretty decent FPS here on customs. Not the best, not the worst. So let's just get started here. We're going to hop into the settings real quick and start in the game tab here. I've got my quick slots, stamina and stance and health condition always shown. It gives you that extra information in the top and in both of the corners there. You can choose to uh, disable it if you want the immersion. It's up to you, of course. I go with the polychrome scheme. This tile available operations. I'm not sure. Is that a new thing? Honestly? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a bad look. But I have mine set to everything, I guess. This new setting they added just today, though. The double-click items quick use. You can now set that to in-raid only. So you don't accidentally drink your moonshines or your sugar, eat your sugar while you're in your stash. So I definitely recommend setting that to in-raid only. We've got the automatic RAM cleaner. Uh, I have mine on, but I'm not sure how well it works, honestly. You know, that's a whole big thing with Tarkov, the memory leaks, all that. And they only use physical cores. I used to have mine set on, but then someone said that maybe AMD has a harder time or has like a better time running when that one is set off. So I don't know. I tried turning it off. Either way, I'm not sure it makes too much of a difference, honestly. Big one, though, is FOV. That really, really changes the way the game looks. Usually, I've been playing with mine on 59, and it really, really changes. I mean, play around with this. It really, really changes the way the game looks. The reason why you see a lot of players playing with a low FOV in Tarkov, as opposed to just maxing it all the way, as you usually do in a game, is because the visual recoil in Tarkov is going to be looking more severe the higher your FOV is. But your vision is also, like, your, your field of vision is also going to be way better. So I've decided to try 69 for a while. I might even up it to 75 at one point but well, let's see there's a guy above what have we got here oh it's the player's guy is he gonna kill me just leave me alone brother all right head bobbing definitely set that to, to, to 0 0.2 right you don't you want as, as little head bobbing as possible and um yeah that's pretty much it in here hopping into graphics full screen is what i choose to run with you see a lot of players running borderless so it's easier to alt tap full screen gives a little bit extra fps so that's why i run with it but yeah if you can afford it you know if you're not too stressed about the frames go for borderless as it does make it a lot easier you know alt tapping all that aspect ratio i've been playing with 1610 actually for a while it gives the game a more stretched look but, you know, now I'm back to 16.9, uh, 16, and uh, I do think I prefer that. Also, make sure you play with your native resolution. I mean, I guess you can downscale it up here if you're looking for extra frames. That's also possible down here in resampling. You can downsample to half and 0.75. But I don't really know wh wh which one is better uh, if you're down that bad. Either way, coming down to the texture quality and shadows quality, I have mine set to high because it just gives the game a, a way better look. It really does. I mean, it's, it's obvious. There's a big difference. I can even put up some pictures here, maybe. But if you do need those extra frames, definitely go at least for the shadows. Set so start off by setting them to low. Also texture quality, you know, drop, uh, drop that down to medium or, or low if you're looking for the extra frames. But yeah, if you're looking for the best look, definitely go for high. It makes a big difference. Moving on, we've got the uh, the object lot quality. I have mine set to two. You can also increase it, but it does give a, a big drain on the PC. So I choose to have mine set to two. Overall visibility, I have this set to a thousand. Going higher is a waste, it seems. You can choose when you come into maps like factory, stuff like that. Maybe only factory, actually, because other maps you might face players at a longer longer range. You can set it all the way down to 400 to get a little bit extra frames. But I just have mine set to 1000 because it's a good overall setting for all maps, it seems. Anti-ADAcing. That's probably, I'm, that's not how it's set, but whatever. And this one, it's important to have it on if you can, because... I mean, TAA and TAA high, I don't see much of a difference. So I just go with TAA as uh, high is a bit more of a drain. But if you're down bad, obviously you're going to have this set to off. But it really makes the game look a lot different. It's not close. It's like the, the edges are, are way different looking. I'll put up a picture on the screen here, I think. The edges are way, way different looking. Resampling, as I was talking about, I have mine set to off. I have been playing around a bit with this. 2x super sampling actually does make, make the game look better. It makes like everything a bit more detailed, but it does also increase the drain on my GPU by about 30%. And I want to leave a bit of, of breathing room on my PC for recording and uh, streaming at the same time. 
So I, I just have it set to 1x off. But if you want a better look, 2x super sampling X is actually looking better, in my opinion. These all these three do the same as resampling, actually. It's just individual to the NVIDIA or the AMD uh, hardware. I mean, I've played around with them, but I don't really like them, honestly. I think you should go with resampling, but maybe that's just, uh, you know, maybe someone in the comments can correct me on that. HBAO, I have that set to off. Putting it on, I don't know. It doesn't really seem to do much for me, but it does give a drain. Moving on, we've got SSR. This is a setting you cannot live without, though. I mean, even if only setting it to low, uh, you're gonna have to do it, man. It's just, it makes the game, at least for me, it makes the game look so much lighter in the dark spots, like the shadows on the bushes, and I'll put up some pictures here so you can see the difference I'm talking about. But you know, it, it's it's a big it's a big game changer in my opinion. So I have mine set to high, not ultra, just because ultra seems to be too much of a drain on the on the FPS. So we go with high, and you know, it really improves the look on the game. The next one here, and I so, and I and I so tropic filtering. I guess that's how it's set. I have it set to on because it doesn't seem to do, actually do too much to my FPS, and it does make the game look a tiny bit better. But if you know I'm ever feeling like oh, I'm looking for a bit extra frames, I'm definitely uh, turning this one off right away. Because it, it's only like a teeny tiny improvement on the on the visuals. Now, NVIDIA Reflex, I used to have this set to on plus boost. I guess like a lot of players did before the swipe. But lately, it, it's been cracked, man. Sometimes it just drains half your frames. So, I don't know. You can test it out. I tested it out earlier today. It actually ran quite all right. But if you're running it and all of a sudden you're like half the usual frames you have, go in there, turn it off, man. That's definitely the troublemaker. Sharpness, I actually have mine set all the way down to zero. You can choose to, to turn it up a little bit, but at least for recording, especially, having it to zero is a lot better. We can put up some pictures here showing the difference between, let's say, zero and maybe maybe one. One sharpness. I don't know what's the high sharpness, but I play with zero. That's how I always went, and I think it looks great. Lobby FPS limit 60 and game FPS limit 144. Down here, you want to have a high quality color on. Does make the game look a little better as well, in my opinion and then just have the rest of them off. Grass shadow is important You have that turned off because it does give the, sh the, the grass a little better look, but it can make it way harder to spot people laying down in the grass. So screw that, you know? Post effects, these are my post effects. Uh, I want to come in here so we could just visualize them and um, see, can we just, yeah, see th this, this is like disabled and this is enabled. I mean, it's, it's obviously a huge difference, right? Because I have such a big boost in uh, saturation and colorfulness, I guess. But I mean, I mean, look at that. The game is gray, right? I think. And oh, there we go. We got the color back. We got the color back. Black and white. And we got the color back. So these are the settings I'm running. The boost color grading, you can choose to go without. That's up to you. It doesn't really, I don't know. It changes the way the colors look a bit, right? As you can see. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You can choose to not have it though, if you want. And then just copy the rest of these settings uh, as you please. These are the ones I run. In terms of sound, I actually have binaural audio turned on for quite a while. It does seem you can gain a little bit of frames if you turn this one off, but it might also make your sound a little bit worse. In the end, nobody knows, man. Sound in Tarkov, that's a whole big uh, thing, right? So let's not get into that. I have it on. You can turn it off if you want more frames. Boom. And yeah, that's it, guys. Those are my settings. If you want screenshots of all these settings, I have them in my Discord. The link is down in the description. And if you want to learn practically every single new rare spawn, almost on the streets expansion, then click this video. Thank you for watching, guys.